Hey folks, it's Sunday. Hey folks, it's Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. So this week is embarrassing school memories and you know, at first when somebody came up with this thing, I was like, oh, what? I don't have any embarrassing school memories. And then I was like, oh, wait, I'm me. Now, I was a very polite kid. Like, I was very courteous to adults and to, you know, people with authority, to other kids. You know, I was, I was really sweet. I wore these big poofy dresses. I was like at the pinnacle of my innocence in second grade. I was so courteous that it actually ended up being a bad thing. So what happened was that one day when I was at recess and I had to go to the bathroom. So I went over to ask the teacher for permission because you know, when you're in elementary school, you can't go to the bathroom on your own. It's this whole production that you have to go through in order to use the restroom. So I went over to my teacher, you know, and I had to pee really bad. I'm one of those people that like waits until the absolute last minute <laughs> because I want to be doing other things rather than wasting time in the bathroom. So I have to pee really bad. So I go to my teacher, but she's having a conversation with another teacher. And so I'm kind of standing there, but I'm really small at this point. So I mean, it's not like she would have seen me or at least even noticed me because I was, I probably just looked like one of the other kids running around. So I'm standing in front of her, like, you know, doing the pee pee dance, but I'm waiting because I don't want to interrupt her conversation because they're talking about something. I didn't remember what. So I'm standing there and, you know, I'm waiting for them to stop talking and like every once in a while I'll be like, mm -hmm, because I don't want to interrupt them. You know, they're, they're having a conversation. They're talking about stuff and I, who am I to interrupt them? So eventually I pee my pants. <laughs> Like there's, there's no build up to that. I peed my pants because I had to go so bad that I wouldn't interrupt them. And at that point, of course, they noticed me. So when I was in fourth grade, we were in this third, fourth grade combo class. We were, we were doing presentations, I think it was that day. But there's this booger on my chair. And so after like the first presentation, I raised my hand. Mr. Bishop, there's a booger on my chair, I tell him. And so my best friend's already laughing at me because, so, <laughs> like, okay. And the teacher goes, well, try to get it off. And I said, okay. So another presentation goes on, you know, each presentation is like three or four minutes long. And so I've gotten like a Kleenex at this point and I'm like trying to force this bigger booger off of my chair. I mean, it's not even that big. It's like this tiny little like black caked on booger. I mean, it's gross, but like it wouldn't affect me in any way. And so the next person has, finishes their presentation and I raise my hand again. I said, Mr. Bishop, it's still there. <laughs> and he's like, okay, well, keep trying to get it off. And so I said, okay. The next person finishes the presentation. I raised my hand again and I was like, it's not coming off. I don't, how is, hang on. So I just actually texted my best friend because she loves this story, but I don't actually remember how it ends. So I'm gonna wait for her to, to pick up on that. From what I understand and from what we both collectively remember, my teacher told me to try and get it off of the paper towel after like the third time I raised my hand and like, the booger's still there. And so either I got it off with the paper towel eventually and like triumphantly announced that it was gone or I gave up or I just switched chairs, which is like giving up, except then I got a chair that didn't have a booger on it. Those are my most embarrassing school stories and shame, I'll see you tomorrow.